I need the money, you know, I've got kids to support, I've got a wife to support, like, bro, that's your fault. The new bowler for Somerset is off-spinner Heath, who has a cover point, long on, square leg, deep extra cover, and two short legs. What the hell is he talking about? Alright, gents, welcome to another video, and in this video, I want to talk about the fact how most young men these days are literally losers. Now, let me tell you a story quickly about how I came to this realisation, okay? So, the past couple of years, I've moved away from my hometown. The hometown that I lived for 18 years, that I grew up in, you know, I played football there every week, my family li still live there. I moved away about two years ago. And you know, at, the, at, the, at first it was, it was hard. It was, you know, a new challenge, a new chapter of my life, and I started to miss it. I started to get a little bit homesick, okay? And you know, I'd go back and forth. I haven't moved too far away from my hometown, so it's okay for me to travel back. It's not that expensive. It's, it's quite nice. It's a luxury for me. However, a few months ago, I hadn't been home for a couple of months. So let's say that usually I'd go home maybe once a month. This period was specifically long just because of certain uh, things going on in my life. I couldn't go home for about three or four months. Okay, and that, that was quite a while for me. That was quite a while for me not to go back to the hometown that I lived for years. Now, all through my childhood, growing up through my teenage years, I played football. Back in my hometown, obviously I had a team that I played for, the boys that I grew up with were close friends to me, you know, the, the grown-ups, the older men there saw me grow up and, you know, it's quite a nice family, quite a nice good group of boys in my hometown. However, here is the point that I want to make in this video, okay? What I realised from going back to my hometown after, like I said, about three or four months of not going back. These were the boys that, you know, I grew up with 16, 17 years of my life and then I hadn't seen for four months. What I realised was that when I went back there, we had about a 20 minute conversation and then there was nothing else to talk about. You know, this, this is the true reality for most men. I realised that most men just, you know, work their nine to five through the week and then on the weekends, they have the football, they have the rugby, they have sport, they have some sort of, you know, cope or escape for a few hours. They get drunk down the pub with the boys, with some lads down the pub. And then, you know, Sunday is hangover day and you're back in work on Monday. And I've realised that for many men, this is the true reality. And this cycle just continues over and over again. And you know, for years I was doing this. I was young, so I didn't necessarily have a, have a job. I was in school, I was in college. And you know, I'd, I'd go to school, I'd go to college throughout the week. And then on the weekend, I'd play football, get drunk, you know, drink excessive amounts of alcohol, hang over on Sunday, and then we, we re-go on Monday. The cycle continues on Monday. And like I said, for years I did this unconsciously. I just thought it was normal because everyone around me was doing it. I thought that, you know, it's just something that people do. It's something I should be doing. Only when I moved away and came to a new place and looked at my hometown from an outside perspective, that is when I realised. That, that is when I realised that most men are stuck in this trap, this constant loop, this constant cycle. You know, because here is realistically what happens. They work a shitty 9 to 5 that they hate throughout the week. However, they only do it for 5 days. Now, what does this mean? Once you work this 9 to 5 for, you know, 5 days maybe, and you think to yourself, wow, this is really shit. Okay, but as you get to the point where you're just about to, you know, maybe quit. Or maybe, you know, say, oh, fuck this shit. And, and give it up completely and go and do something new. The weekend comes around. And then, you you know, you drink alcohol, you do drugs, you smoke weed. Whatever you do, you play video games. You cope a little bit. It takes your mind off it. It blurs your mind at uh, how bad it actually is. And then next thing you know, you're back there Monday saying, okay, it's not so bad. And the cycle continues. Like I said, this is like a loop that continues for most men. You know, I've realized that one of the greatest fears that I had just a few months ago was getting stuck in this loop, getting stuck in this cycle of constant work and then a cope on the weekend and then back to the constant work that you hate. 
and most guys think this is normal because everyone around them is doing it. Here is why it is so hard to escape, why it's so hard to, you know, break free and do what you want. Because most guys around you are doing the exact same thing, it's like crabs in a bucket essentially. One guy tries to escape from the environment, tries to better himself, tries to get out. All the other guys will drag them back down due to their own insecurities and their own fears that you will become what they want to become. Okay, so people will just drag you down back to their situation. Most guys want you to succeed when, you, when you're below them. But once you start to overtake them and get better than them, that is when the hate will come in. That is when they'll start to try and pull you back down because no one wants to see someone else... Um, you know kind of succeed over them if they are an insecure person which you know most young guys are deep down even though some may or most may uh, not admit it okay so just understand that this is like this kind of feedback loop and I'm not saying that you can't enjoy this feedback loop I'm not saying that some of the guys aren't aren't happy over there you know they have families they've they've settled down I'm, I'm sure that in their heads they're happy but as someone who's come out of that that cycle out of that um you know kind of loop and seen what's going on over there seen how unconscious they are living their lives personally i can't go back and if you're someone watching this channel then i assume you're quite similar to me in in this sense and in this regard okay so please just understand that this is kind of like a feedback loop this is a cycle that you can get mixed up in it's like getting caught in the current in the sea or in in the ocean you know you get caught in this loop in this current and it's fucking hard to escape it's a lot harder to escape than it is to get in but just some of the things and the tips that i can give you that helped me view this from a different perspective and improve my life drastically are these number one environment is crucial okay you've probably heard the saying um, you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with and I think this is quite accurate especially in this situation you know the people that you spend the most time with the most amount of thoughts that you have the conversations that you have the energy that you share between people this is what you will receive and this is how you will grow and nurture okay so just be wary who you spend your time with do you want to be like them are they teaching you things are they rising your energy levels or do they drain your energy levels when you speak to them all these things come into play when, you know, I decide who I'm speaking to or who my friends are going to be, who my brothers are going to be. All these factors come into play and I think you should consider this as well. If someone is draining your energy every time you speak to them, then think about getting rid of that person, no matter how hard it could be. There's nothing really worse than your energy getting drained for no reason at all. Okay. So just remember this environment and the importance of environment. Take yourself out into new spaces move away you know go solo traveling around the world go solo traveling around your country just experience new things that is the best way to build confidence build your social skills just go on your own go your own path jump straight in the deep end and learn to swim or die literally that's that's what it is about is just throwing yourself right in the deep end and you know either controlling yourself and swimming and treading water or you know sinking and drowning hypothetically obviously another key point is uh, a trigger okay so i'll explain what i mean by trigger and when i first realized this concept it was kind of a light bulb moment for me okay so most guys get stuck in this situation of you know nine to five uh, monday to friday and then on the weekend fuck around do drugs do alcohol and it's because of triggers it's because of habits you know you think to yourself friday ends that is the trigger to start these degenerate habits it can be a trigger can be anything and you need to find what's triggering you okay so for me that my trigger would be um if you're from the uk then you know that on saturdays there's always like an early football game okay there's a football game on at like 12 30 um in the morning that is the um, like early kickoff so to say and the rest of the games are like 3 p.m 5 p.m etc but there's an early kickoff at like a mid midday pretty much in the uk and for me i remember that on a saturday that 12 p.m game would be my trigger for some reason my mind would just switch from 
you know, kind of productive schoolwork, college work, um, bettering myself, going to the gym, uh, all this, all this type of stuff. Just instantly switch to like kind of weekend mode. Kind of this mode that you know you're allowed to do degenerate habits now. You're allowed to drink as much alcohol as you want. You're allowed to eat whatever you want. I had this trigger. It was kind of a switch from productive mode to fuck around mode, and that's that was the, the the trigger for me. As soon as that game came on, it something happened in my mind, and you know, like I said, this trigger can be anything. Literally anything this trigger can be. But if you find your trigger. And you can either, you know, destroy the trigger, change the trigger, um, or trigger it to do something else. Then th that is where you get ahead. That is where you advance above these guys who are just, you know, doing these degenerate habits and going nowhere in life, just drifting. Okay, so like, like I said, boys, it has never been easier to get ahead of guys your age these days. Most people just drift through life. They've been told, they've been chosen a path by, you know, society, by their family, by their friends, by conformity. They've been chosen a path that they don't really want to do, but they realise that they're in this kind of loop and it's harder to get out than it is to comfortably go through the pain of, of this, you know, low, dull pain of, of stress every week and then uh, coping on the weekends. People just drift through life. And like I said, it becomes a habit. It becomes subconscious. You know, most of these guys back home, I, sp I try to speak to them about self-improvement and an open and abundance mindset, and they're just numb to it. It's as if they've they've just been routined, like, to live their life. They're like robots. Like, you might as well have fucking artificial intelligence doing what they do. They have, like, no emotion, no consciousness, which is what separates humans from everything else which what makes humans so unique and such a dominant species is the, the conscious awareness. Most guys are losing this. They're just becoming subconscious, they're drifting. And you know, they get to the weekend, they get to Friday night and like I said, the weekend just goes. And before they know it, they're back in work on Monday. And they think to themselves, where the fuck did the weekend go, you know? I don't spend that much time with my family, I don't spend that much time with, with my kids. That This is the sort of stuff that they think. But they need that cope, they need that alcohol, they need the, the, the weed, they need the video games to get them through the week. And this is the dangers of falling into this trap. Now I'm not slating 9 to 5 jobs, I'm not slating this lifestyle. I'm just saying as someone who has come out of that lifestyle, who has got to a higher level of consciousness, most guys just, just are drifting and it's completely their fault. You know, if a guy says, oh yeah, but you know, I only do it because of this. I need the money. You know, I've got kids to support. I've got a wife to support. Like, bro, that's your fault. Like, that is the harsh truth that it is your fault. And people who tell you that it's not your fault and it's all going to be okay, I just fucking lie into your face. It is your fault. Everything that happens in your life is your fault. To a certain extent, it is your fault. And even if it isn't your your fault, it is then your responsibility to make the life that you want. Okay, boys? It is your responsibility, even if it's not your fault. Okay, so an event completely out of your control could happen. But it's then up to you internally how you react, what you do about it, how you adopt, how you survive. Okay. But like I said, most guys won't take responsibility. They'll say that they have to do what they what they do. There's no other options. And that is where they'll stay for the rest of their lives, okay? So if you're happy to live that, you know, shitty nine to five, but, you know, have that cope on the weekend of drugs and alcohol that takes lifespan off your life, which means less years with your children and your grandchildren and maybe your great-grandchildren, you know, so be it. Go ahead, live that life make up the excuses that it's not so bad cope and say that you know you you deserve alcohol you deserve junk food because you've worked so hard all week if you want to live that life go for it bro please be my guest if anything it makes my life a lot easier by you being a fucking degenerate however if you are someone who wants a better life wants to support their family wants to drop the excuses 
was to live the life that they want to live and not the one that society has crafted for them then take this video in, into consideration and take action on it please don't sit back and just listen to this video and then discard it do something with this video think on it journal about it meditate about it whatever just think about it and think if it relates to you in any way okay boys remember no one is coming to save you not god not your parents not your brother no one is coming to save you it's, it's, it's on you it's on your back it's your choice to create your destiny or to fail to live up to your potential that's a decision you gotta make. That's one I can't make for you. If you've enjoyed this video and you relate to anything I want to, uh, that I've said, and you want more information about this kind of drifting and how to escape this nine to five life, please, I highly recommend you join the free community in the description. I'm making it a bunch of you know self-improvement stuff for young men on self-improvement, trying to develop themselves. Highly recommend you join, completely free. Go in, add some input, add some value, take some value. And remember, no one is coming to save you. Take responsibility, take accountability. And apart from that, have a very good day, King.